hello and welcome to episode one of the Spicy Fried Show. Just introductions first. This is the official tripod that is the Spicy Fried Project, and my name is Amelia Sargent, which I'm still getting used to saying. I'm Katie Winsack, and I am Melissa Johnson, um, 2020 bride, also 2021 bride, um, due to all the fun that COVID has brought into our lives this year, <laughs> and we um, kind of all came to be because Katie, uh, as my cousin, was in my wedding, and Amelia, fellow 2020 bride, um, we all kind of linked up and said, hey, this is all happening to us at once, and what should we do about it from here, so... Welcome everyone to our, our little show that we have. Exactly. So to give you a little background about Spicy Bride, um, um, I found myself in the, the middle, you know, between all these conversations with the, the two of you specifically, you know, all the stressors and the big decisions that had to be made. And it just seemed like me being the middleman trying to, you know, call, call Amelia and see what she was doing about her website and call Melissa and see what she was doing about her dress. And there just had to be a better way to share information um, than through through text messages and multiple phone calls. Another and friend of yours, and we just kept rolling into all these brides that were struggling. And by the way, we our nature is just to help and collaborate and be like, oh my gosh, what are you doing? And really, all we've done here is formalize it. So right, this is our solution oriented approach to our pandemic brides because you know, like we've been talking about. Any everyone's plans have changed in some way or another or are about to be affected as you begin your planning process. Mm -hmm. So, and there's no playbook for this scenario. Mm -hmm. When you are planning, you know, a normal wedding, there's all these blog posts, examples, wedding planners, and there's no like back in May or March, even you search like how to, how to plan a COVID safe shower. Nothing. nothing existed no one knew the correct mm -hmm. way to go and with all the you know rules changing every week or people's comfortability mm -hmm. levels we we really found that you know we were all searching for help and it wasn't there and so we we really came together on our own and linked up people we knew and figured that you know all of you guys could be benefiting from from that help as well and you know we, we all are here to, to help each other through it and helping, helping to create it and helping to find solutions for everyone for all of these um, really unique issues and, and struggles that people are having and big decisions that they're making. I think, you know, a question that I get asked a lot is what the heck does spicy bride mean? Like what, what is that? Cause that's a really interesting word and it's a funny story to give you some insight. So during one of our coffee walk chats, um, Amelia and I were walking her, her little puppy Glover. <laughs> And he's all excited, you know, we're walking to the dog park and he's, but you know, barking at his, at his new friend and, and Amelia said, Ooh, you know, sorry, Glover's being a little spicy today. And we both like stopped and looked at each other and we're like spicy bride like that. And that's how spicy bride project name became. Yeah. And I love that the two of you brought up really good things that I think our listeners would benefit from. And one, like first let's start with spicy, which like a pandemic certainly does spice things up but like yeah. it's not very fun to keep talking about we're all living through it so how can we turn that and make it positive you know variety is the spice of life you know spice up your life and so the spicy just kept kind of being that like right answer somehow and it just made us laugh but as yeah. far as the shower you know Melissa you bring out the shower and that we were all like how does one do this now because there isn't a playbook to your point so you guys actually went through this process and worked really closely together to pull this off. And for the listeners, you know, kind of set us up and talk through like some really actionable items that you guys did and kind of strategically planned. Cause I know there was so much that went into this. 